They are at the moment. Okay. Um, other noises. Um, yes, I met this gentleman yesterday as well. Gave me uh, Ivan, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. He's from Russia. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And uh, any particular track you want? Maybe. Like the third one. Third one? Yeah, okay. There we go. It sounded like it definitely had an influence of Red Hot Chili Peppers, James Addiction perhaps as well. Um, funk, rock, really well played. I mean, I don't know how old you guys are, but music at your age, the studios that we used, we couldn't have made something as sounding as good as that in a thousand years at the time. Um, so it sounds super professional. You've got a great voice, you've got an excellent band behind you. I mean, they can all play, I mean, it sounds like session musicians. If, if, if you put that out as the new Red Hot Chili Peppers single, but with Anthony Kiedis going on every, you know, chorus or whatever, uh, no, one, no one would bat an eyelid. They would think, wow, that's the new Chili Peppers single. Uh, that's, that you may not even like Red Hot Chili Peppers, but that's how it, it comes across a little bit. It's funk rock, it's anthemic, it's really catchy. I didn't mind the telephone um, angle at all, I didn't mind that. Uh, it has been overused though, he's right about that. One thing I would say is, I think you can sing really well, and you get a kind of American voice. It's like, you don't need to do that. You, you can sing in a, a, a less effective, less American voice. Um, and also I would just, as I would say to many other people, push yourself. Try and do unusual things. Don't don't just go for the C, G, D chords. Try, you know, different time signatures. Push yourself into directions because everyone wants to hear something unique. And if you hear something that's maybe a little bit like someone else, some people might like it. This could really cross over, but I think it would maybe find more of an audience if you did something slightly unusual with it as well. It sounded maybe a tad cliched, um, but it was very, very good. I think it's maybe the best recording we've heard today in terms of the, the production and the playing and the, I mean, that sounds like you put that on American radio and that could, that could sell. But I'm always, it sounds like we are both looking for, perhaps all four of us looking for something that has that, something weird about it perhaps, something out of the ordinary. Yeah. yeah? Okay, let's let's hear it uh, please ladies and gentlemen for other noises. Thank you.